hey there so in this video we're going to be talking about how to create a decal material on um on a burning ground so let's get started so you have to go into the materials folder right click material uh m on the line um decal to um so open it up and then what you have to do is go into the material domain and it should be deferred decal blend mode must be translucent and that's pretty much it you have a decal material this isn't going to be really complicated all we have to uh, we need to have are um, noise textures and a color sample so let's get started hold three on your keyboard um, and maybe something like a reddish would be nice then hold M on your keyboard, it comes down here. And then we'll have a texture sample, this one right here. Then come in here in the texture um, tab, noise. You have to type in noise. Then go all the way down until you find something you like. Maybe, maybe pearly noise will be nice. Maybe you don't like that and you want a tiling noise. Um, it's just a um, self-reference. Then we need a smooth step. This one, hold control and drag this one down here. Maybe this one should be 0.2. Um, then we need a panner panner um, and this one should be something like 0.1 this one should be something like 0.1 then for the coordinate tab we need texture coordinate and hold M on your keyboard to have a little bit of control over it and this one should be a um, scalar parameter so for a scale parameter hold S on your keyboard and left click and then name it something um, the default value is one and then if you start previewing this one you'll have something like this which is awesome to use um, in the opacity map but this one alone doesn't really look like a burning ground so what we can do is we can uh, select this one control C control B and this one comes down here maybe this one should be Oh, I don't know, we'll see. Hold M on your keyboard and multiply this by this one. Now look at the magic happen. No, it didn't happen. <laughs> it's just because we need to change the panner. So maybe point, um, 0 0.05 uh, and then this one should be oh, really different. Okay. So now if we go into the opacity tab, let's see, we have nothing. It's just because we haven't connected this one. So we need something at the moment. It just doesn't really look good. Um, so next step would be change the smooth step to be, to have less um and then change this one to something like I mean I know three less smooth step less smooth step and this is going somewhere to be honest I'm seeing some pat patterns something that looks like uh, a burning ground okay that's awesome um, and we need something else as well I want to I want to mask it so I'm going to use the sphere mask as well so hold the M multiply it by the um, opacity and we need this to be like a circle we just want to mask it to fade on um, the edges out is all um so we need the texture coordinates and we need hold two on your keyboard we need the 0.5 and 0.5 um and then the radius should be really really low mm. 
let's see okay this one looks not bad at all we have something we have a little bit of feather maybe the hardness is too low for this one um i i believe it's too low yeah and uh, radius should be 0.3 it looks really good at the moment to be honest okay um one thing more is that we want it i mean it's just a again a, a preference that you want it to be um really really obvious in the scene and be blended with the bloom effect then you can come in here and type something like 200 which oh you know what i this one shouldn't go to the base color if you want some bloom it, this one will go to the emissive color something like 20 maybe would be really good or five or two okay two is nice then you come here and type in dec decal actor um, and then you'll find this one in the content browser right click create material instance um, and then you will have the decal on the ground which is nice then we'll open the instance we have the coordinate we can change the coordinate if you want to we can change the um this one doesn't look good this one's a little bit better i guess um and then we can also come in here and change the maybe hard hardness 50 hold s again um radius is 0.3 for the default value which we're, we're just creating some scalar um and this one and me see if um this one's probably one by default and then we'll have some parameters to change so let's change them uh, we want maybe 20 500 5000 that was a lot actually maybe we needed them to be this one's like a volcano <laughs> um and the hardness should be lower radius should be okay so let me see let me see if it's just too much yep this is the effect then um if you want it to go like on the wall or something you can use it like this but as you can see it works on only one direction it's just because it's um based on te texture coordinates it's, it's not a world space base effect um you can easily change that by uh, there's a pop-up here you can just go ahead and change it change this piece of code based on a world space no it's a little bit complicated this is why I'm telling you to go follow that pop-up video and this is it I hope it helped you and if it did please hit that like button and have a great day bye